Hey everyone, I'm Kyle. This is Kaizen DIY Gym. In this video, we're gonna tour the Bells of Steel showroom. Today I've got help with my camera work. My buddy Michael's gonna be helping me out. We're gonna be switching off between using the equipment and shooting the equipment with the camera. So if you're ready, let's go. My first stop is the residential power rack. This is the lowest price rack that Bells of Steel sells. It's heavy duty enough that you're not gonna break it, but it's also not gonna break the bank. This one back here is the light commercial rack, similar to the residential rack with a few upgrades. Multi-grip pull-up bar, sandwich J-cups, roller J-cups. If you watch my channel, you know I love belt squats. I've been eager to try this one out for a while. Here's what you need to know. The weight is top loading. The action is smooth. You can see here that the pillow bearings are the reason why. I hop on it and I love how easy it is to clip in. Then you move the handle and start squatting. I love that the handle is dual purpose. It sets your starting position and gives you something to hang on to for stabilization. There's a little cutout on the bottom of the platform to give you that full range of motion. Honestly, I am super impressed. The only downside I can think of is the footprint. This will basically take up an entire stall mat. But that's always the trade-off with a dedicated machine. If I didn't already have a killer DIY belt squat, I'd go for this one. The next thing on our tour is this massive six post Hydra power rack. It's got weight storage pegs, a lat tower, multiple pull-up bars, sliding lever arms, rack mounted leg extension, and a dip attachment. We go through everything and try it out. These globe pull-up handles are super interesting. It's hard to see, but this multi-grip pull-up bar in the middle of the rack has a fat bar and several different neutral grip options. Michael tries out the low row on the lat tower. I pull up a bench and go for lat pull downs on the high pulley. The aluminum pulley wheels help to keep everything silky smooth. It's a really great option for a lat tower rack attachment. We go through the hallway full of bars, kettlebells, and plyo boxes. So this is what I've been really excited about. I saw Kayvon tease this on Instagram and I've, I've been wanting to try it. I'd say this is the most unique piece of fitness equipment I've ever used. This isn't something they're currently selling. I believe this unit is a prototype. They didn't ask me for feedback, but here's what I'd say. First off, I love pushing the boundaries and experimenting with equipment, so that's awesome. The handles are a little wide for my frame and the range of the handles is limited. I'm sure they're already working on that, but I wanted to mention it just in case. Okay, moving on. I personally prefer a rower over any type of fan bike, but I want to give this blitz bike all I've got. Here we go. And I'm done. That was pure torture. It's time to cool off and check out the benches. Bells has quite a few flat bench options, but I want to test out this one with the leg curl and extension attachment. Initial thoughts? It works well. You're not going to get the same range of motion and resistance curve as a dedicated machine, but that's typically how it goes with attachments. The low cost and small footprint make this a great option for the home gym. Next stop is this power lifting flat bench with tripod feet and a super thick pad. It's sturdy and comfortable and it'll get the job done. The other bench I wanted to check out is the buzzsaw bench. It's unique in that it can decline and also stand upright. Typically, you have to choose one or the other. That was the Hydra rack. Hydra because it has 5 8 inch holes. Over here, we have the Manticore rack. This is the top of the line rack that Bells of Steel offers. It's a true three by three with one inch holes. You get the laser cut numbers in the sides. All of the attachments are three by three attachments with UHMW, all premium high quality stuff. I haven't actually like been in one or seen one in person. So all in all, like I'm pretty impressed. It's pretty sweet, bro. Oh, this one has the, the premium rollers. The build quality of the roller J-Cups for the Manicore rack is definitely a step up from their other J-Cups. Super nice. 
So the next area we're gonna take a look at is this wall over here. This is one of my favorite parts of the showroom because it's like all these cable machines, lat tower, wall tower, lat tower, functional trainer. And then over here is the combo machine, the reverse hyper glute ham developer, which I haven't actually tried this machine. I've tried separate machines, so I'm interested to like hop on here and test it out. My first impression is that this thing is built like a tank. It's easy to adjust and feels like it's not going anywhere. I hop on the other side for some reverse hypers, which like full disclosure, I hate doing these. Here's some footage of Michael. You can see those pillow bearings on the underside, keeping this thing running smoothly. This is your standard functional trainer. No frills, but it gets the job done. I love how Bells uses the aluminum pulley wheels on most of these cable machines. I'll try a couple pull-ups. Yep, that works. This selectorized lat pull-down machine is probably my favorite piece of equipment in this entire showroom. It is buttery smooth. So freaking smooth. It's hard to convey the smoothness through the video, but damn bro, it is so smooth. Here's the selectorized wall mounted pulley tower. I own the plate loaded version. It works really well. It's super compact and I love how you can put a couple of these together and make an all in one rack. The last cable machine on the wall is the plate loaded lat tower. Without the weight stack weighing it down, there is quite a bit of movement. That's an easy fix at home. You just bolt it down. Otherwise, this is a great economical version of the seated lat and low row machine. Michael and I tinker around a bit with this Berserker press. It's a combination of a Viking press, car deadlift, and a rickshaw. I was surprised at how much I actually liked it. At first, I thought it was a little gimmicky, but it is versatile and actually does work extremely well. I like how there's plenty of space to move around inside the frame for stuff like this clean and press. So the next thing I want to talk about is this Bells of Steel showroom has Bells of Steel equipment, but what also is enclosed in this building is a full on gym that is run by that man. This is Andrew over here. He runs the gym and pretty much just runs the, the whole operation over here. Come on, let's go check out the gym. So there is some Bells of Steel equipment, but there's a lot of other equipment too. So we won't focus too much on this. Just know that like, if you're in Indianapolis and you wanna get a good workout, like this is the place to go. So we're gonna come back here to this secret room where there's uh, this is like a conditioning area. This is actually the first time that I've been back here. I didn't even know about this place. Uh, there are some wall mounted racks. Oh yeah. <laughs> Feels pretty solid. We have over here is a beautiful display of the Bells of Steel urethane dumbbells. They're fully knurled. So sexy. Back here is kind of a messy area. They probably don't want to show this on the tour, but we're gonna show it anyway. We have some inventory that they keep, a handful of machines that they're probably either loading in new equipment, loading out old equipment. This is, this is it, man. I mean, that's basically everything. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I wanna give a big thanks to my buddy Michael for helping me shoot all this and try out this equipment with me. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next week.